Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a great one on tap between the Tennessee Titans and the Carolina Panthers. With that, let's get up to Charlotte. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tennessee Titans and the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They come in after a loss last time out, but they've still been in good form, winners of six of their last eight. Meanwhile, for the visiting Titans, they come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game? In these types of situations, you're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. Orchestrating the offense will be their versatile quarterback, the Hawaii native Oregon Duck product. Of course, that's Marcus Mariota. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done, but they lost. So obviously two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First down, Titans gain of 12. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. On first down, Teague. In on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. And we roll now on the graphics for the offensive starters. Let's take a look at the left tackle, Taylor Lewan. A big, gregarious guy with great athletic ability. Plays the game with a little bit of an edge. In fact, he doesn't play to the whistle. He plays to the echo of the whistle. On second and nine, Mariota. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. This secondary has really developed into one of the strengths of this team. They diagnose, they cover, they run, they hit. What a nice team. Mariota from the gun on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Timmy Jernigan make that now eight sacks for him on the season. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. They're led out by their big-bodied electric quarterback, Cam Newton. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? The tackle is made by Adoree Jackson. 
And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Second and nine now from the 21. Now Newton. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Titans. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Malcolm Jenkins up to make the stop. Well, look now at our starting defense. They're just below the cut line for top half of the league, 17th in the NFL against the run. One thing players always tell us is that they never really pay attention to numbers. I don't believe them for a second. <laughs> they know where they rank, okay? They're, they're, you know, they're not quite at the top, but they're far from the bottom. But let's face it, they want to move up. And in order to do that, they've got to look at each other and make sure everyone's taking care of their assignments in order to play the run better. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you can see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. And the drive starts with a completion, left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. Mariota on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A loss of two there, second down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. On second down now. Corbin, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Yeah, that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. A couple of plays sent him the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. 
That's going to set him back five yards. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Mariota. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Call it a pickup of seven. And it'll be fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. That's going to go down as a loss of nine on the first down play. Hey, watch that, watch that. Newton. Open man is Samuel, complete. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Back to throw, Newton. He's going to look deep for more, and that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Newton to throw. And that will be incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And it'll be Titan football. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try the left side. Teague. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. You got him. You got him. <laughs> so they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Here's Newton. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Throwing is Newton. And a throw there going to be incomplete. 
And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now a play fake here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Mariota now. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mariota to throw it. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. That one goes for 24 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run it here with Pierce. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 11 yards and a Panther first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they're controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. On second down, McCaffrey. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes... And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Now this is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games. Both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early. And that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever. And it tells you you've gone somewhere. But you really have. You're in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. You know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 
After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. On second down, T, and he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Encroachment, defense. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. A first down throw for Mariota. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To throw is Mariota. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. They'll run on first down. Teague. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, Teague. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. A gain of three, second down. On second down now, Teague. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. The first red zone opportunity for the Titans. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. They'll try to throw now. Mariota, pass incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Now Mariota. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. K1 short in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle, right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, Let's don't go. break. Go. Hold on, go. hold on. Chestnuts? Uh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the, just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. So first and 10 now from the 30. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Here's McCaffrey. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Panthers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, 
We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. And he's got his target. That's more. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Me and you all day. All day. Now a first down throw for Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And that might be Titan football. It is. Yeah, baby. Well, we may not see it behind the big play sheet that they like to use, but I'll bet there's a big grin on the defensive coordinator's face. A corner blitz, what we often call a cat blitz. Usually they disguise it, Brandon. You're up on a receiver. It looks like you're going to bump and run with him, press coverage, and then he just takes off straight for the quarterback and someone comes behind him to pick up the receiver. And as a former member of the secondary, it makes you happy too, doesn't it? I can't, I can't lie about it. I've got a big <laughs> grin on my face too. That was a heck of a play, a heck of a call. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. For those who watch the game and want to question the courage of the guys who play on the corner, how about when you see a toss sweep coming your way, yet you still go into the backfield, get past the blockers, and make the tackle? That's big league. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Third and long here for Mariota. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's stopped at the 44. It's also a gain of four. And now it's fourth down. A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. He dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. An update from a game going on in Indianapolis. And the Bengals out to the early advantage. And we'll be sure to keep an eye on that one as we go along here. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The Panthers on third down. Two for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run. This is Pierce. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. I like the look that they just showed there. When you come out in a passing formation, spread things out a little bit, makes it really hard to cover the middle of the field, doesn't it? Because yeah. you got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yep, exactly. Got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multi... And he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. We're going to 
shut you down. We gonna shut you down. The previous play is under review. Got it. Touchdown, Panthers. As his guys are in for six. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here. But I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all. Because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Now the Titans getting set to go. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Wide open receiver complete. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Throwing Mariota. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now Mariota. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brian Burns, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. The Panthers gonna use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. On now is the Titans punter. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the eight yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we've reached halftime here. Let's throw in a broadcaster cliche, shall we? Both teams looking for a gift on Christmas Eve. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. 
All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in everyone to this Christmas Eve edition of the EA Sports Halftime Report. So let's get to it. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In our game, it was Cam Newton who led the way in that first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This one taken from the seven. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Let's go. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. From the 29, Newton, and he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Mike 54. Mike 54. Let's go, defense. Throwing on third down, Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It's taken to the 26. Now, after the punt on that play, we've got a man go, down on the field. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. They'll run on first down. Teague. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Uncorks one for Davis. Now this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
How big is that penalty? Wipe out the INT. You'd hate to be the teammate that caused that penalty and wiped out the interception. You got to face that guy in the locker room. Not a lot of fun for you, and you hurt your squad. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. From the 36, Mariota, and he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. To throw Mariota. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Let's go, let's go. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, Mariota. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. And he'll give it here to his running back. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now an inside draw. This is their fullback. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. We got this. Here we go, D. All day, defense, all day. On first down, T. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On play action, Mariota. And it's caught. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab as his guys are back within a single score. Boy, it's nice to have that big relief. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. And now Mariota and the Titan offense, they're going to line up to go for two. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free, and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all Keep that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now a run with McCaffrey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. On first down, Newton taking a shot for Samuel. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. A run here with Pierce. And he's got Rome. Nothing too fancy there, a simple toss left, but for whatever reason, the defense, they didn't seem ready for it. Let me continue on with your thought right there because after the play was over, 
I kept my eyes on the defenders. Watch them get off the ground, going back to the huddle, shaking their heads and kind of pointing to each other like, what just happened there? I think you were onto something. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? They, let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though. On second and nine. Newton. Well, that's not a run that's gonna make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Now it's Newton. And that is incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to and maybe his rhythm confused. was just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Teague. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. On, An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. And now a carry here for their fullback. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. On second down, Teague, he gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly, and this one could be coming back. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On second down now, Teague, and he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Here's Mariota, and this is going to be incomplete. An absolutely zero surprise that that one was incomplete, huh? I mean, was, truthfully, how many OCs have we seen with third and 20 on their play sheet and go, oh, I've got the exact play to dial up? No, that's just a, a head scratching down <laughs> when you're facing a third and 20. Tried to complete it, couldn't get it done. Fielded at about the 28. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. We're off to the fourth quarter here on Christmas Eve. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and seven. Now Newton. 
He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. He got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. I want to take your role, partner. But up in the fourth quarter and going for it on fourth down and picking it up. How about that? <laughs> a big chance. That's why football is not for the faint of heart. Newton now to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and 10 now from the 27. On the ground, McCaffrey. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. The Panthers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and four. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. To throw is Newton. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So give him the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more. Fans, a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. This will be fielded at the eight. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27 yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score, they know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. From the 29, Mariota. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Mariota. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already. And they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Mariota now from the 50. Complete. Smith has it. A good pick up there. 18 yards as they get closer for third down. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. 
Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. He had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. This is McCaffrey, and an alley to run. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellows up front in order to bring this one home. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. From the red zone now, Newton. A good pickup of six there on first down. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton over the middle, and it's incomplete. The Panthers on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and four. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. First down, Mariota. He finds Corey Davis. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Mariota on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. A gain of four last play. They doubled that here and get eight. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. To throw is Mariota. And he will find Davis. That's complete. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Mariota to throw it. And they get to Mariota here as he's dropped on the sack. Timmy Jernigan in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 on, more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Here's a throw dropped off to his fullback. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Off the play fake, Mariota. 
And his throw is incomplete. The all-pro linebacker Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Now Mariota on fourth down. And this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Panthers will get the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. McCaffrey. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. On second down. It's Pierce, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done, really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural. Yeah, but yeah, I, but, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like the best player of all yeah. of that. And I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You That's get a game ball, <laughs> and you get a game ball. Game balls for everybody. So for Carolina, it's an important win for their playoff hopes as they hit the 10-win mark now at 10-5. and five. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Tennessee, the loss is number eight for them on the year. And yeah, they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints.